policemen don't know if they're going to come home every day. After 24, 48 hours, whatever shift in the firehouse, sometimes they don't come home. That's not okay. My point is, <laughs> don't you want to give them a better chance? Give their families? What I'm about to talk about, I just wanted to set clear. <laughs> There's some articles on here that involve the fire department and the police department. And it just, if you voted no, don't call them, in my opinion, if you need help. Watching y'all drive by. Some people look like Goose and Top Gun keeping up foreign relations. Fair enough. Hey. We live in a republic where everybody has a right to their opinion. Other people look happy. I'm glad. The real reason is so looking at cell phone. I'm a little confused. Let's start here at the beginning. Otherwise, I'll get confused. That's what happens to us retards. Now, town of Guilford, New Hampshire. Second session. Election results. March 9th. 2021 uh, talks about the um, well, Department of Public Works put up the polling. Thank you. Talks about how the uh, inspector inspected, and this is their actual wording. <laughs> this is why I love this rezoning of the Guilford zoning ordinance by changing the zoning of land located generally on the north side of Lake Shore Road, Route 11, from Lily Pond, generally, hmm. generally located. <laughs> Come on, you got to see the humor in this, right? <laughs> but it was to go from industrial to commercial, which I'm for, because industrial, basically, you can do whatever the hell you want. Commercial, well, you pretty much only have residential homes. <laughs> I'm sure they changed it by now, but you know this was in 2021. But this is where I have a little issue. Article three, the Fire Prevention Code, to enforce the state fire code and adopt additional provisions. <laughs> have you seen the provisions? This is what gets good. Seven pages. Yeah. So we have a little article. To vote yes on. Or no. Some people vote no. But then it turns into seven pages. Quite honestly, this is no different than the Sports Medicine Protection Act, which refunded the FAA with almost 4,000 pages and took away your right to fly anything underground. Think about that. Do you fly underground? Although Native Americans can miss it. All under the Sports Medicine Protection Act. It was one thing for sports medicine, it was the first thing. Last 4,000 pages was taking away our rights. Another day. <clears throat> and here's where the seven pages has a, have a real problem. First of all, you know what it's called? No, I don't know if you've ever looked at the town ordinances. They're labeled with numbers. This is just called ordinance. Weird. Very weird to me. And for the record, looking at a mental retard that actually worked in the New Hampshire State Senate. Like I said, you gotta keep your idiot somewhere. Being one of them. See, starts off after ordinance and explains that this is to, well, what it said on the other, you voted on. Section 1, authority. Usually section 1s are definitions defining what words are and shall be meant for. Yeah, they didn't do that in section 1. Section 4, what is the definitions? Weird. 
New Hampshire RSA is usually like the first part is the definitions. The only way we don't use that Canadian black law reference. All right, so authority. It explains how they derived it through different RSAs from the state. Fair enough. 2.02, .02. purpose. The purpose and intent of this code is to <laughs> prescribe minimum, minimum, minimum requirements. Now, ordinarily, I would be jumping up and down for joy. Because honestly, I think you need to be, if you believe in the republic that we are, because we're a republic, not a democracy, I'd honestly ordinarily be jumping up and down for joy seeing minimum requirements, repeal the stupid laws. Freedom is how we got here as a superpower. This country grew when you took away taxes. Because then you have more money in your pocket. The minimum requirements and controls to safeguard life. Come on. England, health and safety. I will say this though. Why does Switzerland have a 0.59 crime rate when you're required to own a gun? That's all I'm going to say about that. There's a reason Hitler didn't invade them. It had nothing to do with political neutrality. Same reason that uh, Mr. Japanese uh, Emperor there didn't invade the lower 48. So he did send that movie on a motor, get educated at Harvard. Then he planned the attack December 7th, 1941, and led it. You yeah, probably saw that coming. But back on track here. Prescribe minimum requirements and controls for safeguarding life and property. I agree with that, but here's my problem. Why the lying? Seriously, why? Why did you say that you want to vote on more safeguards? But then you're taken away. Did you think people want to vote yes for less law? People do better on their own because then they have to think. Self responsibility. Yeah, then you gotta. It's like learning history. And you don't repeat it and you ask questions. That's why they burn books in the socialist country over there. The authority delegated by the New Hampshire State Fire Marshal. Now, I have a little problem with the State Fire Marshal. You see, uh, you know 184 on Lakeshore Road? You know, the land that says it's cleared with stumps on it and dirt. I, uh, I emailed them. <laughs> yeah, they called me crazy. Actually called me crazy for saying, well, for me saying, that there was buildings over there that weren't being taxed on. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it either. I mean, first of all, for a state agency to call somebody crazy, that's just rude. But people make mistakes. You see, the state fire marshal's office actually it has well, it's the most power when it comes to building. You would think that there'd be a department for building. Actually, under a particular state RSA, <laughs> state fire marshal's office. I was surprised a little bit. Not as much as when I was called crazy by him. You see, I think they looked at Google Maps. That Google Maps shows I'm crazy. Uh, if you go there in person, use Apple Maps. Don't use the town tax map. There's nothing. Maybe that's what happened was they used the town tax map. And then decided just to call me crazy for it. Well, either which way you do it. There's buildings there, and they've been there. And we even have notes from uh, 2016. Town meeting notes. And I was like, Pogus Bay over here. <laughs> well, this is where it gets good, too. How tall is that building? Those four buildings. 
how tall are they? Because if you keep reading here, I don't get this. All non-residential occupancies shall at the time of a change of ownership notify the fire department of said change and arrange for a life safety inspection. Why do I want to call the fire department a blue pickup dodge back rack? Why do I care about scheduling an appointment with the fire department for life saving equipment? I'm selling it. Not my responsibility. I don't fully get that. And don't get me wrong. Because I know somebody will. I don't know. When you have like three lines to vote on. Seven pages? Come on. Sports Medicine and Protection Act. 4,000 pages of FAA funding. And unconstitutional laws. If I wanted to do something illegal. Complaint investigation. It's to be done by the fire chief. The bottom problem of it is, is say some mental retard, even calls the fire marshal's office, and it's called well, crazy. You could very easily hide, I don't know, an illegal drug lab. All sorts of things. Because now you're doing the investigation. See, we live in a republic with checks and balances. Taxpayer is the check, but it's also the balance. To make sure the check is being written properly and going to the right place for the right thing. Probably why, when you tell somebody a lie long enough, they believe it. The problem is, when you tell somebody a lie long enough, the person telling it usually actually winds up believing it at some point. I guess I'm the Queen of England. She's dead. Unfortunately, God rest her soul. And she was German. There's no food truck going on. But, you get the idea. Now, it bothers me. I don't know if you know. I might never have mentioned it a hundred times. I worked in the State Senate. Short time. I learned a lot in that short time. After that short time, I actually ran for state representative. You might not know that, though. The reason you might not know that is because, well, went back to the state house. You know, the donut shaped thing. There's a hole in there. The nice gold dome because of uh, President Pierce. I went to the king's office, told him I wanted to run for state representative. You know, he gave me the paperwork, I filled it out. Pa Sorry longest serving represent uh, secretary of state king. I mean secretary of state sorry don't mean to do that so secretary of state king there <laughs> filled up paperwork gave him the money wish I kept the receipt to run for state representative called me up next week and said uh, hey <laughs> you know, good news I'm not putting your name on that ballot after all I said really why not well, when you were 18, you didn't, uh, well, you see, we have two parties in the state, and you didn't sign up with either one. I said, okay, you know, I'm no smart guy, that's for sure. Uh, I don't really understand that. How is it that I uh, signed up with a party that doesn't exist? Yeah, you see, you signed up as an independent. I said, yeah, George Washington didn't want political parties. Thought they would um, ruin us. Not to mention, originally you also didn't say that you were with the uh, whatever party because it meant that you were selfish. You were with the friends of Jefferson. That's how it was done. Well, <clears throat> he said, uh, yeah, I can't put your name on the ballot. I said, well, you know what, I'll go run on that other ticket then. Yeah, you didn't sign up with them either, man. You're not listening to me. I said, look, King, I understand what you're saying. Here. Oh, sorry, Mr. Secretary of State. Always forget that. Mr. Secretary of State, I, I understand what you're saying, but, you know, I did vote for president between the time I signed up to vote and I voted a straight ticket. And I could only pick one of two parties. 
Yeah, I don't have that information. So maybe you could go and get the signatures. But uh, have a nice day. I've done a lot in my life. Thanks for coming. Sorry for the bad health. <laughs> okay. You know what? Six times I can do this. I'll do a run. Now, let's be honest. How many people in the end that ever won an election is a writer? No, I don't either. However, I don't give up. Some of you people might be getting irritated about that by now. Yeah, I, I just, I was taught not to. So, I actually ran as a writer. Six times. And the funniest thing happened at the polling places, huh? The other candidates, and it didn't matter what party, there's only two anyways. Nastiest bunch of bloody... I can't even repeat it to me, what they said to me. And I was actually confused. For two reasons. One, why? Why do you want to be so... Honestly, I want to know what dictionary they use to learn those words. I never had a copy of that one. And my family was Navy. Why be so mean? I didn't get it. I just looked down and was like, hmm, whatever. What do I? Because in the long run, I'm a lot younger than you. And I died before him a few times too, but... Long story, I got sick. Luckily, New England has great doctors. I just didn't see the point. I don't like people. You don't have to like me. That wasn't me. That was just plain nasty. So the point I'm trying to make is, I'm not educated at all whatsoever. Not a clue. I don't know my ABDs at all. As you know, I can't even spell my own damn ready name. I never said I was a spelling major or an English major. But what I can do is everything you can't. Also can't do math unless it's binary. That's just finite numbers that never change. Yeah, stay the same because that's how you make the... Well, that makes four oil tricks today. So anyways. So there's some other articles on here that town had to vote on. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate as an operating budget, not to include appropriations by special warrant articles and other appropriations voted separately? Now that the Board of Selectmen have gotten your permission to have secret spending events, so what they're really saying here, they want to have a special meeting. And if you okay it as the town voters, you gave them permission. It's like when somebody steals your car because they said, hey, let me borrow your car. I'll go get a gallon of milk. And then you don't see a car or them for two years. And the police can't do anything because you gave them the keys. So it's like that. It's a loophole. To have secret meetings. Well, you still yell at them, but legally you can't do much. Now that the Board of Selectmen have gotten your permission to have secret spending events, Article 5. I can't believe people, 111 people voted no. Now, I wouldn't call the police then if you need anything. So I'm perfectly crystal clear. When I look at articles like this, one, I look at the legality of the spending. But the other part of it is, when it comes to the police force, the benefits, you know, in your job, do you reckon you're going to come home every day, honestly? A police officer every day is no different than somebody in the military. Quite a few of them usually were in the military. Vice versa. They understand, inherently, they're job's dangerous. Is your job that dangerous? 